Hi guys and welcome to week 10. I apologize for the tardiness of this video, but here's week 10. Um, we are entering into our next unit, our third out of four units. So we're more than halfway through our semester, just about a couple weeks past halfway. We're entering into our drama unit and we have the same protocol as we've had for poetry and short story, the same components that will be due at the end of the unit. So we have the journal log with your entries from the play Fences by August Wilson. And we also have the quiz on drama based on what the handout or the um, link to the what is drama packet. And that is here in the first in the first discussion on drama. Um, and then we also have a, an essay on drama. And so there's a few options with essay number three. Quiz. Journal log, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but it might pop into my head. And I will let you know when it does. So the first discussion for week 10 with our new unit is similar to the last beginnings of our last two units. We're going to start the discussion off with the um, what our plays introduction and the link is here. I know that some people were having a hard time with this link, so please let me know if it is not working. It's a PDF, so you have to have um, Adobe to open it, Adobe Acrobat, I believe. Um, and so you might have some problems with that. I will do my best to make it more accessible if I can. I'm rotating mine. If you look here, you can't see me clicking my rotation button unless I move this here. Here, if I kind of hover here, I can actually rotate it to be how I want it to be. And that way it's much easier to read. So again, this, this format should look familiar. It's the What is Drama section from the uh, anthology of Little Seagull anthologies, Norton anthologies, Let me... yeah, Seagull Reader, excuse me. Um, and so rather than have you buy all three books, I copied information for you guys to look at. So again, this is the introduction. It's going to look really similar to short story and poetry. We have kind of the introduction to drama and then we have our concepts that are in bold. Those are the things that are going to be on the quiz for drama. So those are the things you're going to want to pay attention to. I'm just going to move my screen back a little bit so you can actually see the fullness of this chunk. Um, but again, this is the drama reading. Um, and we have kind of a discussion about what drama looks like on a page versus on the stage in, in real life acted out because that is the intention of drama. Um, it would be really cool if we could see Fences by August Wilson since that is our dramatic play that we're looking at. But there is a wonderful movie version of it, which is one step closer towards kind of seeing it acted out. We get to see it acted out in that um, venue. And so I would highly recommend it. It's Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. And I think they did a pretty good job with the actual play. And so you could have your play handy while you're watching that film and kind of do a comparative analysis. I'm probably going to do that just for fun to see what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. Um, but in the packet, we have the parts of play. This is super important and you've probably seen it many times. I'm actually just going to hop over and Google um, narrative arc in drama just in case you want to see an image of what that looks like and so sometimes it's easier to understand it this way so let me scoot this over so you can get a little shot of it we've got the exposition or the introduction and then we have the inciting incident the rising action as we go up the climax when we reach kind of the the um the high point of what's going to happen in the story of what's happening and then we have falling action and resolution um, so this is really what we're looking at here in the packet when we're looking at the parts of the play. And so sometimes it's helpful to have a visual. I'm probably going to cut and paste that one into our um, discussion just so you have that visual in your mind. But this breaks down what the, um, the opening is and the conflict and the rising action and all that. And so you can see here. I think it's useful when you have that narrative arc though. So again, this is the, these are the concepts for drama, for play. We've got character and we've got um, 
all the different aspects. We have sets and we have props and we have protagonist and diction. Some of them intertwine, you'll notice, even with poetry and short story, you could see a similarity with um, symbols and themes and tone. Some of those things carry through, and so many of them are going to apply to drama as well. We, we have symbol here. We have symbolism. And so our play is called Fences. So as curious readers, we ask, what does that mean? What does it mean? What does fence mean? In what ways is this a symbol for the play? In what ways are people building and reinforcing fences? And so that's something just for us to ponder as we read the play. And um, so it goes over tragedy. It goes over the major moments in the history of theater. It goes over comedy, all good stuff all probably familiar stuff that you've gone over in some capacity throughout your understanding of literature and English classes that you've had. So for this discussion, it's kind of a big discussion because it's the ushering of us into this new unit. I did put the trailer of Fences so you can check that out. Um, I'm just going to click on it here to see just how long it is, give you a sense. Um, it's a two and a half minute trailer on the movie and this gives you kind of the movie synopsis just like you know trailers do. Um, and then we have here that you're going to read and take notes on this reading, which is the one I just opened. You're going to hop on the discussion board and post a paragraph about what you learned from this introduction to plays. What did you find interesting? What didn't you know? And then you're going to share a line from, your, from that section that stirred you or you just thought was thought-provoking. And so you'll see some people are already posting on here. Make sure that you follow up with your discussion by doing the third step, which is reading and responding to classmates' posts. That's super important. Going back to the home page, I'm just going to click on the second discussion for the week. It's um, Act 1 of Fences. So Act 1 is the first half of the play, and so you're going to be looking at um, the first five scenes. Um, so for this discussion, you're looking at, you're reading um, the first act, since there's only two acts. If you don't have the play, I have a PDF link here. I hope that it works for you. The PDF links work for me, but that's because it's compatible with the software I'm using on my computer. So I won't know if it works for you unless you let me know. But again, I found this. Um, I didn't like fact check it to make sure it was all legit. And there are some parts that are a little tricky to read. This is a copy from MIT. And so I thought, wow, I found a, a free version of the play. Right? We have our characters. We have our opening quote from August Wilson, the playwright. Um, and we have our setting. This is super important. It's set in the 50s, and so we have that. That's an important aspect of the play. If you're, um, as you go on to this discussion, you will see that there is a video from a lecturer in Tennessee. I want to say University of Tennessee, and she goes over some of the background of August Wilson in the play as well. And it's a very, a very interesting and um, critical analysis of the play. She gives you some information that you probably wouldn't know if you were just Googling it. So again, um, you're going to watch the lecture on August Wilson by a scholar within that field, and then you're going to take good notes on the play itself, the first act, and you're going to post a one-page analysis here. You're more than welcome to use information that you got from the video, but really you're analyzing each scene in that first act. So there's five scenes total. So um, you're going to include those in your, in your response. So this is just going to help you kind of push a little bit further, analyzing the symbolism you see going on, looking at the different um, development of the character, you know, asking yourself the question, what kind of, what genre does this fit in? Is this a tragedy? Is this a comedy? What is this? What kind of play is it? And then being able to support that with actual proof from the play itself. So that's what's happening in this discussion. Again, two discussions this week. First one, setting up. Um, and then the second one is really kind of delving deeper by applying those concepts from the packet, what are plays, um, and really applying them to the play in a meaningful way that helps you kind of shed light on the play itself and helps bring it to life. Welcome to week 10. I hope that you have a great week. If you have any questions, let me know. Still grading, essay number one. Your essay number two is due by tomorrow night. Um, just before midnight. Um, again, if you have any questions, post them to the discussion board here. That first discussion, I guarantee if you have a question, someone else has one as well. Other than that, have a great week 10.